friends, it's Rad Edits, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Motion Blur on Video Star. So let's get it popping. The first thing I'm going to do is just open up an edit that I've already done and does not have Motion Blur on it. So obviously you're going to add this like after you're done with your edit. Okay, so this is the edit that I chose, and I'm going to show you what it looks like before adding motion blur. it's not bad it's still like smooth because I already added like transition motion blur but now that we're gonna blur the entire edit it's gonna look much smoother and of course you do have to pay for this it's a different pack or if you already have the VS Pro then you will get this so we're gonna go to new transform and I do this two different ways so you're either gonna turn up blur to 60 and make sure the blur times 10 is off sorry don't know English I guess and make sure it's on both. Don't have like just trailing or just leading, have it on both. And then press create. And then you wait a long ass time for it to process, but yeah. So now that I've turned up the blur to 60, this is what the edit looks like. So you can either do it that way, or for more blur, you can do it this way, which is we're going to go back to new, transform, and I didn't say this earlier, but make sure you're pressing BS motion blur, and then you're going to turn down the blur to like 13 or 10, something really small, and then put on the blur times 10, and once again make sure it's on both. And then you wait 10 more years for it to load again. So now after adding the blur times 10, this is what the edit will look like. times 10 it's gonna make the blur like much more intense so my tip is that if you do 2d edits do the times 10 if you do 3d edits like me do the blur turned up to 60 and don't have any blur times 10 turned on it's just what I've kind of noticed but I think it looks much better with the blur times 10 on um, 2d edits it's gonna make the edit look super flowy and I don't know just I think it fits 2d edits better and if you do 3D edits like me, it's just gonna kind of make it look really messy and it's gonna mush the quality and everything together. So yeah, that's just my tip. That's just what I've noticed, but you can come to your own conclusion and do what you like. Okay, so just to show you guys for reference that I think it looks better on 2D edits, I'll go ahead and show you. But I don't typically do t TD, <laughs> 2D edits. So once again, I'm gonna pull up an old one. I'll go ahead and show you so you know what it looks like before. Okay, so that was my edit, and now we're gonna go new, transform, BS motion blur, and I'm actually gonna turn the blur down to 10, because I don't know, I just feel like it, okay? And we're gonna leave the blur times 10 on on both, and create. 
All right, and this is what the edit looks like after adding it times 10. So basically, you can come to your own conclusion on what you like best and what you think is going to look best for your edit. My only advice is just like make sure you don't overdo it, make sure it's not like too blurry to the point that you're like losing good quality or that you can't see like facial features of the person you're editing. Just like that's like the only thing you have to really be aware of. So yeah, just kind of mess around with it, see what you like best and obviously this is what works best for me personally, so I hope it helps you. So yeah, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you hated this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I love you. Thank you and bye.